Arr, says Mr. Dinosaur Guy. It's time to love and let's send up a big heart for dinosaurs. And because it's time to look at the T-Rex and it's time to realize, oh boy, this guy like to eat my brain. That's what it is. Ah, eat, you ever get a dino eating your brain? They're really bad, eh? Every time I turn around, this guy's trying to chomp on my horns. And it ain't even right. That's not even Christian. I don't even like that. That's that's all bad religions is when the dino try to eat your brain. And so don't do it. Go to school and mind your mother. That's what we should do. And so in this hour of, of uh, sitting on my strength, <laughs> it's time to look at something very, very special and welcome to this program that for all the good little kids out there when they're sleeping because kids are always really good when they're sleeping for sure and uh get rid of my balloon for a second but one thing for sure i like my little nighty night yeah i snuggle in my dinosaur and i pretend i'm a dinosaur so if you ever pretended you're a dinosaur keep on pretending now, guess what? Are you ready? I'm so excited. I'm going to have a sip of pop. It, but what, last time I did that, my nose fell right in my pop, and I had a wet nose all day long, and I couldn't figure out how to dry it. Because I tried, but guess what happened? I, uh, next thing I knew, uh, all, the, all the pop, it was, it was rolling all down my face and made me all wet, and I didn't like that very much. Okay, so here's what it is. This is the most famous fossil out there. This is called the uh, fossil, the El Elvis duck fossil. A-L-V-I-S-D-E-L-K. Now, what you see in there, little guys, is footprints. Uh, notice the big footprint. That is the dinosaur. And notice the little footprint. That is is mankind that is a man stepping on stepping on the dinosaur footprint and if if someone don't see that i don't know they guess i guess they got to get some glasses but that is the most famous fossil you can see see it down here maybe even uh a little bit but one thing for sure uh it is absolutely unmistakable that that footprint is of a man. And uh, when you look up, go on the, uh, if you want to see something really interesting, kids, go up and Google giant footprints in stone. And what you're going to see, now you might not be able to see this too well from right here, but these footprints, in many cases, they is as tall as a man. I'll show you some good photos here. And there's a lot of them. And if you look at these, and some of these are very clear. You can really tell that these really are footprints. But the unusual thing is they're made in rock. See, what happened a long time, there was big giants in those days. In the book of Numbers in the Bible, uh, the, the, the men of the king, they came back and they told him in the book of, of uh, Numbers. Uh, oh, they went back to Moses. i sorry, I just need more coffee. They went back to, no, to Moses and said that those guys, those big giants, they made, uh, in comparison, they were like the grasshoppers, the Bible say, in their sight. I think it's uh, Numbers 22 if you want to Google it. But one thing for sure, uh, they was huge because, see, giants came around and all the creation became giant because of satanic uh, interference. And then the giants came in the days of the Nephilim, which was the days of Genesis 6. And so it, look at these ones. There's a big footprint. And if, if you look at the footprints, uh, look at the size of that little guy's foot in comparison to the 
big footprint right around there. Almost dropped my little little phone. Uh, what else we got here? Oh, oh, really huge ones. I can't even believe it. But here's two guys standing next to um, big footprints. And see what it was, it was like mud and they stepped in the mud and then somehow uh, it, it fossilized and the mud became like rock. And that's what we got all over the world. Now, I recommend homework for all the good kids that wants to get an A++ in uh, creation science, the true creation science that always has declared uh, through what is written that, guess what? The world is ancient and it's new at the same time. The world was made like old, like Adam and Eve had no belly button, kids, because you see, they was made into full grown adults. God can make cheese and he can make old, old cheese or new cheese. And so the world he made ancient, but yet the world is only 6,000 years old, according to the Bible. And that's so true because dinosaur is not old. Marco Polo saw the dinosaurs and had a good description of them. Make sure you watch my Marco Polo uh, uh, T-Rex description. That guy, he said that guy could just eat a tiger or a wolf and they would come out of its caves at night and they would sell its meat. They'd go hunting for these guys and catch them. And then they would use traps. And then uh, it was a delicacy to eat those guys and everybody paid a lot of money for it. Uh, I guess they were a little tasty dino burgers. But one thing for sure, uh, in, in the days of Marco Polo, he said that their eyes was as big as a big shield. And he said that their t tail, if it, the tail hit you, could send you flying for many, many feet. Their tail was like moving like thunder and lightning and a swish, bang, like a whip, Pew, one of those. And he say, he say that the little dino guys have little tiny hands, little claws, and then sharp claws like a tiger. And that's what he say. And so uh, that was written in, in the Marco Polo uh, journal uh, of his, uh, you could Google it, Marco Jolo, Marco Polo. I like that game. Marco Polo. Marco. You ever played that game? Marco Polo. Ah. But guess what? If you look up a Marco Polo description of a T-Rex, you can uh, read it for yourself if you want. But I do have that video on. So let's see. Any other good ones? Because this is so amazing. And uh, some of these footprints, I just can't believe how big these guys were. According to the Bible, uh, some of these giants, uh, they were like 25, 30 feet tall, the short, the short ones, just like that guy. You can see the little guy and the big guy. You, I don't know if you guys ever heard of Andre the Giant. That guy was a big guy, but these guys was a big, big, big guy. These guys would weigh like as much as a car. It's true, according to all the, the scientific uh, fossils. And these fossils are, are absolutely uh, undeniable. Nobody could deny them because when you look at them, it's like, wow, those are big footprints. And they was left in the, the rock. And so it's I, I'm just looking at these things and, you know, Google it for yourself. You can Google anything nowadays. But if you want to be a good dinosaur, you got to you got to put up your flaps and you got to sharpen your your uh, your horns. The way you sharpen your horns is by learning cool stuff. Like look up entombed animals and you're going to find out that there's hundreds and hundreds of entombed animals that were trapped in the middle of rocks and guess what somebody broke them out and they come out and they was alive they really was alive so it's time to celebrate this guy but don't let him eat your brain and so if you let him eat your brain don't do it because then what you're going to use to think with anymore so don't do that kind of noise but he's always after me that guy is so hungry all the time but one thing for sure, you got to have a love 
for truth. Because you see, there's been all kinds of mistakes in the dinosaur record. Uh, and uh, the truth is, even evolution, God is so funny. I like it. And I put on a bigger nose every time I listen to evolution. Because you know why? Because according to all their charts and stuff, like uh, just Google evolution charts. And you're going to see charts of the fish become the, 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 the frog and the frog become the big lizard, lizard walk on the land and then he turn into something else. And you, the, the one thing become another thing. But we found out a long time ago now uh, that you can only get a dog from dog DNA. If you start off with the dog, you can only get a dog. Uh, you can't get man coming uh, from monkeys. That is so funny. I just laugh every time I hear that stuff. Because if you got the people DNA, you can only get the people. And if you got uh, some kind of monkey DNA, you got the monkey that only could have a, the monkey from the monkey DNA. A, a kitty can't have a dog and a fish can't have a turtle. That is just so silly. So even uh, Charles Darwin, he was laughing about his own theory and he regretted what he, he did. He didn't mean to, but he let that cat out of the bag and, and evolution sounded good. But back then they didn't have good science. They didn't know that you couldn't get a, 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 a man out of a monkey uh, DNA. And so, you know, but now we know and now Everything before this is obsolete because I tell you the truth that the world was created ancient on day one. And that is why, uh, that is why the Bible say that when you hear the good news of this channel, that all religion on earth is obsolete by love. Because God say unto all good uh, dinosaur guys, he say, he say, I am your God. You are my people. I have forgiven all your iniquity and I will never remember it. And he say, I will write my law and my love on your hearts. And beyond that, no more will anybody ever even need to be taught of me. Unless they're stupid and they got the big guy coming and eating your brain. Then God need to, to help us because he is the most merciful guy because he just, he doesn't love us. Kids, if, if your parent told you he loves us, don't you believe it. He adores us. He is devoted to us. He is faithful and loyal to us because if love isn't faithful, loyal, and dedicated, it's not even love at all. You see, that's the problem with the real world out there, people. That's the, the kiddies. It's time to know that uh, the, the way to hell, as mankind used to imagine it, uh, has always been paid by love, but it's upside down kind of love. It's the kind of love that's confusing. The kind of love that loves you because, or the kind of love that loves you if you are do this or that. That's that. That's not even love. Uh, that's conditional love. Love isn't even love. And see, so hell is paid by conditional love because we practice uh, rationalizing and just fine. Why it's okay not to love that one today, or why not to forgive that one, or be merciful to that one, or why it's okay not to to smile to that one? Because you know that's the language uh, that even the dumb can understand. As we're being good little uh, uh, dragon guys, so but it's so important to turn our love around. That's why the Bible say the most important thing in the latter days, the most important thing is to beat our sword into the sickle in order to learn the ways of war no more. The Bible say that has to happen in the latter days, in Isaiah 2 and Micah 4, because off the latter day mountain, uh, it say in Isaiah 25, that God gonna remove the veil of love uh, off all the nations from off a mountain filled with food for good dinosaur kids. And so make sure you come back and watch my all my dinosaur videos because you know what? People are all mixed up. Uh, they think that God hated mankind back in Noah's day, but I know the secret. I know the secret. God's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's always loved us all, all of us. And But for reasons that are too deep to go into here, uh, 
the truth is that God destroyed uh, Noah's flood day to kill all the dinosaurs. There was too many giants. All of a sudden, there was, there was, uh, it was crazy because God created little lizards that ate vegetarian, but then the satanic interference in the little lizards, they became big lizards. And the little sloths, they became big sloths, 2,000 pounds. So we got to turn our love around, which just means we got to beat our sword into the sickle for the harvest of love to learn the ways of war no more. So don't forget that one. And before I say goodbye, know that right now it is true. There is a big sand glass, hourglass, and the sand is falling. And the sand is important because if we understand what the sand is saying, because sand talks too. Did you know that everything has a sound? Everything is vibrating. Everything is in motion. Everything, everything, everything. You look at this cup. That cup, it even got nothing in it. Well, maybe a drop or two. But uh, that's making a noise. Because you know why it's making a noise? Is because the atoms and the, the molecules in the in the in, in the protons, electrons, they all moving all the time. And whenever there's a, 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 a motion, there always got to be a noise. We just can't hear it. It's just so quiet. But guess what? If we like to be good science guys, and we want a good understanding of what all this dinosaur and giant stuff was all about, and we want, you know, we can do it this way. Okay, I'll put it this way. We can lay down and let that, bad guy come and eat our brain and then it's like then it's like we're a cobra that doesn't have his hood up but if we decide to prevail and be victorious when someone comes around us we need to defend ourselves so we need to put up our horns and if you don't put up your horns how can you get that guy if he come over to eat your brain you got to put up your horns so put up your horns and insist to your mom and your dad that you want to watch Mr. Our Guy because Mr. Our Guy, Our Guy is going to teach you guys something because Jesus loved the little children. Red and yellow, black and white, all are precious in his sight. And I'm just using my horns to bash that guy in the brain because he just keep wanting to eat mine. Don't do it. Don't let that guy come around here. You just got to keep getting that guy away. And then sometimes... You gotta bop him on the beeper. You get, ooh, one of those. And if he comes back, then yep, give him some more. And if that's not enough, you do cowardly lion out of a, what was that? Wizard of Oz. Yeah, you, yeah, you got, ooh, and you're bopping him on the beeper. Hey, I could be like Rocky too. I take that and give him a laugh. And then you give him a right. And always remember Rocky say, uh, the guy that uh, made all the Rocky movies, he say if you really want to be victorious and you want to defeat the monsters in your life, you got to never give up. And he say that love is not even love. Sylvester Stallone is right. Everybody, I hope you look to that guy. If you're not looking to, to, to Mr. R right here, Daniel, that's really my, my real name. I'm Daniel. Call me Dan, Daniel, Dan. But Sylvester, he say that love is not even love unless it's loyal. And he right, because we got to have faithful love. And, you know, you want to love other people uh, in spite of, in spite of whatever they might believe or whatever, how bad they are. Uh, you just love everybody. Now, you don't got to like everybody. Sometimes we don't like people. But you got to love them. And because you got to love them because they're mothers and sisters and brothers and brothers of other mothers. And they don't, even if they got their sh sharp horns up and, and they combat it sometime. And instead of putting your horns up, put your horns down. Put your, even those ones, you get some uh, uh, glue. And you, or tape works good, eh? And you glue all your horns down when you're around all those people that are trying to be mean to you. And even you get some, oh, here, I get a good idea. You, 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 you defend not. 
and you become like a red nose reindeer uh, dinosaur. And then if there was a dinosaur Santa, then the dinosaur Santa is going to lead the way and he's going to take us to new places where no uh, normal dinosaur would ever go because we want peace. We're tired of war. war. War is for a bunch of people that got no love. That's a loveless thing to do. And so it's time we start uh, realizing what's true. And it's time to bop that guy on the beeper. If you're going to be a, a defender of truth and love, you got to get all those monsters. You give them the Rocky one and the two, and then you give them, give them, give them some of those, like that. And then no matter what happened, if you're going like that, that guy just has no defense for the truth. Only a, only a lie. But uh, there's no defense against a lie because the truth prevails all the time, no matter what happened, no matter what people think. And the truth is, kids, before I go, I'm gonna tell you something, all your mama and your daddy and everybody you know, everybody got a, I hate to say it, but it's kind of true, I'm serious. Uh, and I'm not clowning around, kids, I'm really not. Everybody got a false god in this world. I'm somebody that was called Elijah to come. And the reason everybody got a false god, well, a couple of reasons. First, uh, the Bible say that God is the Lord God of all mankind. Nobody got that God. Uh, Jesus say he the good shepherd of, of all the flocks of man. Nobody got that Jesus. And guess what? The Bible say he can't be a respecter of man because if you're a respecter of man, uh, it's a sin. And that's not even good. It's, it's not good for us to have favoritism or God because we're just like him. We're made in his image of love. But so if anybody have a God that uh, only likes them best, like like the Christians, he only liked those guys best. And uh, he, if you believe he's love, you're good you good but if you don't believe he's love then he's gonna hate you forever and ever and ever and he's gonna burn you in hell and forever and ever because if you don't believe he love and so but the truth too if you got a god that that has conditional love conditional love don't even exist people and everybody got that false god oh yeah everybody always afraid god gonna get them that's not what his word of love say. His word of love say, I am your God. You are my children and I love you. And because I love you, uh, I'm gonna write my law of love on your heart. And beyond that, none of you even need to know anything more about me other than I'm unconditional love. For wide is the way uh, unto hell with conditional love. Uh, narrow is the way to heaven with unconditional love. So we need to start uh, not ever being a puppet master uh, because if we're being a puppet master that's not good because then we try to control other people and in reality that's like that guy coming and eating your brain so give him one of those that's it <laughs> get ready because you gotta have courage courage and if you don't got courage then you can't bop him on the beeper like you should and you gotta give him the Sylvester Stallone uh, razzmatazz has and you got to do the dance of the horn guy hey now i can't be i can't be my rudolph guy but that's what you do you you be a rudolph the red-nosed reindeer kind of di dinosaur and okay if you're gonna stand up proud all right put up your horns for the picture but if people around you get combative uh you could bop them on the beaver but Put your horns down and, and, and try to be nice. Try to just give them a the big smile and they're going to laugh at your nose. And if they laugh at your nose, then instead of having an enemy, then all of a sudden you're starting to get a friend. Because all of us that have been enemies of somebody, a lot of us have made friends of those same enemies. If we have the nose of peace, and but we got to follow the nose because the nose always knows. And if you follow your nose, you can't go wrong. So the, what the Bible say, and I, I, I really going to miss you guys. I love you all. Until next time, this is Mr. R coming at you. So, uh, but until next time, you got to know that love is the very best thing in the world. And we got to keep following that way. 
But the truth is that unless the hearts of the fathers turn to the children and the hearts of the children turn to their parents, uh, that the world will have a really bad curse. It says so in Malachi 4, 6. And you don't want to know how bad it's supposed to be. It's not good, not even Christian. So it's time to worship he who is the Lord God of all mankind because he is our love. Did you know, kids, that there is no darn good person? Romans 3.10 say that. But guess what? Most of you guys are good and most people are still pretty good because most people have some love left. Even if the love is small, like even the size of a, a grain of a mustard seed, that's okay. God still loves us. But if you let your love go out, your love light, that's not good because then the sand of doom is falling. And if the sand of doom is falling, that's not good because then we'll be a castaway. And because if we kick God out of our heart because he's our love, then we become totally loveless. And then we're cast away into the outer darkness of lovelessness and created hell where we'll burn forever in our brain uh, until we perish. Uh, we'll burn uh, everlastingly with the thought, why wasn't I a loving person? Why didn't I have my uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer on my reindeer, on uh, my uh, uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex friend? I'm the tri ter I can't say it, Triceratops. <laughs> so until next time, don't let the sand run out.